Welcome back to the Perlite oven series. Today we're going to make our oven door. Now, we're going to use this material here, core flute or core, corex, sometimes it's called. It gets used for real estate signs. Um, this is about 30 millimeters wide. And if I go down kind of this side, you can see how I put it outside of the nails. Now, at the very end here, this nail here, uh, is securing that in and I haven't put it in all the way just so I can pull it out easily at the end Got this piece of wood here. Just kind of stopping the pressure of the uh, Cement perlite mix when it gets put in there um, and that's screwed in so it's really easy to remove and Inside this is where I'm upgrading the door. So here we are going to use well We are using rebar um, and I've just got some other wire just kind of twisted on it's quite stiff and what we've got here is our handle form. So the plan is we're going to fill this area with perlite, maybe put a really thin layer on and then put the rebar on top and then backfill it. And then we'll, while it's wet, we'll put the bottom of the handle form and line it up with the bottom of the corex. I'm not too worried if it overlaps a bit because it's going to be quite easy to sand back the perlite mix once it's dry. The ratio we're going to use is the same as the oven. So five parts perlite, two parts cement. Now you can use Portland cement. Um, we're just using white cement just so it looks great. Um, and we may end up spray painting the oven or doing something fancy on the outside and two parts water. So we don't want this too wet. So I might go one and a half water because I don't want the water kind of like draining off the board underneath the core flute. So um, we'll see how it looks, and then if I need to, I can add a little bit more water. So the mix is absolutely perfect. So two parts water gave it the right consistency. So all I'm going to do is lay out a layer and then set the rebar into it. So here we've got the uh, form all filled up. I'm not too worried if uh, there are some little rough edges because we're going to sand those down. And I'm sure someone will ask a question about why were the nails on the inside? Well, it's just a lot easier for that form to pop away. Plus, um, I've made this probably about three or four millimeters wider than it needs to be, just so we can sand the top edge and therefore we won't have any indents from all the nails. So that's something we learned from in one of our previous builds. So this will probably be left for at least a couple of weeks before we move this um, try to pop it off and then stand it upright so the back side can dry out as well. Ideally you want to leave this at least six to uh, eight weeks before you put it under the
the uh, heat of an oven because you don't want it to crack. As always, if uh, this has been useful or if you've liked this video, smash the thumbs up and subscribe if you're a new viewer. Um, yeah, any questions, comments, leave them in the uh, comment section below. Keep it positive.